क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव सीन इन कन्वेक्शन दैट देर आर वेलॉसिटी बाउंड्री लेयर एंड थर्मल बाउंड्री लेयर नाउ लेट इज कंसिडर द थर्मल बाउंड्री लेयर इन केस ऑफ अ इंटरनल फ्लो दैट इज पाइप the thermal boundary layer in circular pipe there are two cases that one must consider first case where the temperature of the surface is higher than the temperature of the fluid and the second case when the surface temperature is less than the fluid temperature now let us consider here the first case where the surface temperature is less than the fluid temperature let us consider a pipe diameter d now in this case before the entry of the pipe the velocity profile will look something like this so as i go in r direction so if i say this is r and if i say this is x then as i go in r direction then value of temperature does not changes as we go inside the entry level regions comes so there the region is not fully developed now since the region is not fully developed the temperature variations are abrupt so we can say that the more temperature gradient will exist at the boundary and lesser at the surface because it is not fully developed yet so here since the region is not fully developed the temperature gradient will be higher at the boundary and lesser at the center of the pipe and as we go let us say at a distance le that is now this le stands for the thermal entry level thermal entry region at the end of this length we will have a certain what we call as a proper thermal boundary layer now here the temperature gradient will exist commonly everywhere at the distance r from the center now here you can say that at these two points the temperature of the fluid will be same as the temperature of the surface now as we go upward in the direction of r what is going to happen is that the temperature will keep on increasing why will the temperature will keep on increasing because the surface the fluid temperature is higher than the surface temperature hence the temperature of the molecules which are there inside the pipe will keep on increasing and there will be a point where we will have a maximum temperature this is let's say t max and the profile is obviously the parabolic profile why because the relationship between the temperature and the radius is a parabolic p is a function of t is a function of r square hence we can say that there is a parabolic nature now this is the first case where the surface temperature is less than the fluid temperature now if the surface temperature is higher than the fluid temperature then obviously at the entry level the profile will look something like this where again at the boundary the dt by dx is lower and as we go further in the x direction we will have a fully developed flow now again as we had discussed earlier the fully developed flow is a flow where the temperature the dt by dx does not change with respect to x so at a distance let us say if i want to find out the dt by dx at this point and again the dt by dx at this point it will not be changed they will not be changed this is only occurs if the flow is a fully developed flow now again we will assume that at a length le from the entry of the pipe we will have a fully developed flow now here the profile will look something like this since the surface temperature is higher so we will have the maximum temperature at the wall of the pipe and then as we go up in our direction my temperature will keep on decreasing so there will be a point where we will have a minimum temperature t minimum now this kind of analysis is essential again we need to write down who is responsible for this is dt by dx there is the temperature gradient that exists and because of the existence of the temperature gradient within the region we will have this kind of a profile if the flow is a laminar flow 
then the length of the thermal entry region can be given as this empirical relationship that is le of t is 0 0.0575 red into prd where red is nothing but renold number and prd is the prandel number similarly in case of a turbulent flow the length is given by this formula which is if it is more than 10 and less than 60 then it is given as le upon t where the le in this case is given as 0 0.0575 red into d now in this topic we have tried to figure it out how does the temperature profile look like in case of a flow through pipe and we have seen that there are two distinctly different temperature profile depending on the what temperature is more is it the surface or the fluid temperature now that is it in this topic thank you for watching this video please stay tuned with ekida and subscribe to ekida thank you